Good time to everyone. In this episode of the Snaking Show came up time to talk about mambas. Of course, the most famous species of this family is the black mamba, but it has at least three green sisters about which there is much less talk. This is, like, not fair. Green mambas are no less graceful and elegant animals, not very inferior to the black one both in size and in toxicity of the venom. Featuring the western green mamba here, and Raspis viridis in Latin, we see that green mambas are really green, while the black mamba is rather grey, with just its mouth being black. The color of green mambas indicates their predominantly arboreal lifestyle, while the black mamba is more of a terrestrial species, although it is also capable of climbing trees and shrubs. The venom of all mambas is one of the most toxic in the world of snakes generally more toxic than that of cobras. Essential acting components of mamba venom are cardiotoxins and neurotoxins that cause muscle cramps or BFS, blurred vision, confusion of speech, difficulty breathing and swallowing, dizziness and nausea up to paralysis of the respiratory muscles and cardiac arrest. The western green mamba has a relatively limited range inhabiting the equatorial forests of Western Africa, in countries such as Sierra Leone, Guinea, Côte d'Ivoire, Liberia, Ghana, Nigeria and some others. Since all mambas live exclusively in Africa, their bites pose a particular danger to people on the continent, where it is difficult to obtain qualified medical care in time. The green mamba is difficult to spot up in foliage when processing trees or harvesting crops, and this increases the risk of unexpected encounters. In addition, there are cases when these snakes literally fell on the heads of people working under trees. It must be said that survival after bites of snakes is determined primarily by the amount of venom that enters the bloodstream or lymphatic, lymphatic system. Bites or of mambas are characterized by two aspects. Firstly, dry bites are very common when no venom is injected at all, and then the victim is a really lucky one. But secondly, multiple bites also occur when a mamba bites two or three times in a row, and then the risk naturally increases. Our green mamba specimen in the video is quite large, over 8 feet in length or 2.5 meters if more convenient. Even in a terrarium it's clear that demonstrating its full size is not easy for the snake. When the head appears from the shelter and most of the body is outside, it seems that there are two snakes in there, not one. Anyway, there is enough space for the snake to feel comfortable and for the people around on the other side of the glass to feel safe. Please do not forget your likes if our information is interesting. And also subscribe if you would like not to miss out our next episodes, which are meant to be not only entertaining and demonstrational, but hopefully also educational.